December 14, 1944, Camp Robert Smalls, Illinois. Vice Admiral Samuel Lee Gravely, Jr. is commissioned as the first African-American officer from the Naval Reserve Officer Training Course. As an ensign, his first duty is assistant battalion commander for new recruits. A pioneering naval officer, he serves aboard the submarine chaser PC-1264, which is one of only two World War II experimental ships with a crew of mostly African-American sailors. He returns to reserve status in 1946. After President Truman issues an executive order to desegregate the armed services in 1949, Gravely is called back to active duty. He is initially assigned as a Navy recruiter with a focus on recruiting African Americans in the Washington, D.C. area. He continues to serve a 38-year Navy career that includes many distinguished accomplishments. He serves in leadership roles on numerous naval vessels. Simultaneously, he paves the way for diversity in the armed services by being the first African American to serve in a number of command positions and ranks. These include commander of four U.S. Navy warships, including one in combat conditions, ultimately achieving the rank of Vice Admiral and command of the U.S. Third Fleet. He retires from the Navy in August 1980 after serving as Director of the Defense Communications Agency. Among his awards are two Legions of Merit and a Bronze Star. In 2009, a destroyer is named and christened in honor of Vice Admiral Samuel L. Gravely, Jr. and the Samuel L. Gravely, Jr. Elementary School in Haymarket, Virginia is named in his honor.